Hey guys, welcome to the Clubhouse. I'm Billy Jackson, and today's video is truly unique. You know, I used to do top tens back in the day, but I used to do reviews for each movie. And, you know, that, that could take up a whole month's time of doing one top ten list. And I know you guys just don't want to see all that stuff. So I figured what I do is try to come up with a new format to do top tens. So I'm giving you what I think is the best. And I've had a lot of fun putting this list together, even though it's extremely hard. It took me days to make this list because, guys, I think there are a hundred movies out there that deserve to be on a top ten list. So, but I just pick the movies that I just have loved all my life and that I watch every year. If, if somebody said these movies out loud, do you want to watch this? And I could just be like, bam, I'm on board. It doesn't matter. Um, they're just pure cinematic greatness. And all film subjective, guys. This is just my top 10 list. It's going to be different from your top 10 list. But, and that's okay. But in order to do this list and to make it possible and feasible in my mind that this is the right list. I had to do a top 10 honorable mentions. So first of all, let's get started with my top 10 honorable mentions. And now it's here. Or should I say, I am. Mom! Come with me if you want to live. You see, when a man bleeds, it's just tissue. No blood from one of you things won't obey when it's attacked. It'll try and survive. Are you through? No, I'm doing society a favor. So? That's another one right now. I've got you for the rest of your natural born life. If you don't watch your step, you want another one? Yes. You got it. You got another one right there. That's another one, pal. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Boy, my head being right all the time. Maggots. Whew. Now tell me if those movies don't deserve to be on a top 10 list. I mean, it took everything I had. I was switching things around and I was like, nah, I don't watch this every year. You know, Can you blame me? Those movies are awesome and I love them all. So don't think that I think that they don't deserve to be on a top 10 list because they absolutely do. And I believe I just had to show you what I thought deserved to be on the list. But that being said, they didn't make it, but here's who did. Here we go, guys. Billy Jackson's top 10 movies of all time. Bam. You're gonna need a bigger boat. My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius. Father to a murdered son. Husband to a murdered wife, and I will have my vengeance in this life or the next. That is a lot of money for a kid like you, all right? Anybody ask you where you got it? You got it in Vegas playing craps. All right? All right? Uh -huh. Yeah? All right. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! 
got Kool-Aid, no sugar, peanut butter, no jelly, uh. ham, no burger. Damn. what I'm talking about and anybody who knows me knew that was coming foreshadowing anyone y'all knew it was coming I know it uh, but anyway I almost cheated and tried to make the whole trilogy you know number one but that wouldn't have been fair to you guys you know and it's not fair to me because they're not you know they're not my number one but even though Star Wars is my favorite franchise of all time Empire Strikes Back is definitely without a doubt my favorite movie of all time and for a lot of reasons I'm not going to get into. I just wanted to let you guys see that that's my favorite movie. And I almost cheated a little bit with Lord of the Rings. You know, I, I think that the original Star Wars trilogy and the Lord of the Rings trilogy are truly unique. I think they're one cohesive story and could be viewed as one movie. But really, Fellowship of the Ring is the better one of the three, in my opinion. Um, I know a lot of people love both of the other movies, you know, and consider those better than the first one. And that's fine. Like I said in the beginning, all film subjective, guys. And I want to know what your favorite number one movie of all time is, because I don't expect you guys to give me a whole list of your favorites or anything like that. But really, truly think about it. It's hard. It's hard to do. Uh, it's not hard for me because I've known ever since Empire Strikes Back came out that that was my number one movie. And it always has been ever since, since I've seen it. And, but what about you guys? What's your number one movie of all time? Let me know in the comments below. And also, let me know if you like this format, the way I kind of did it without a narration, you know, just kind of showed you some clips and, you know, gave a little title at the bottom. I, I kind of like how it rolled, you know. I was able to get 20 movie clips and this, the intro, the middle, and this ending here in a short amount of time. And I think it's going to work. So, let me know, guys, what you think in the comments below. Remember to like my videos and subscribe to my channel. And as always, make yourself happy every day. And the only way to do that is to remember, the only thing stopping you is you stopping. Bam!